keep getting a lot of uh, people asking me why I'm posting so many provocative uh, videos. Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious. Uh, sex sells. <laughs> Truly. Um, so let's talk about it. Um, what do I show off first? Really, uh, all of my art, I try to sell that. My opinion. Um, so what does everybody want? They want naked. <laughs> All I care about is your cock. <laughs> so, um, let's see where this all began. I've been selling everything uh, in my life to survive. And um, right now, God, I was at that point, uh, as we all know, back in 2000 and whatever, who cares anymore, um, where like I literally had nothing left to sell anymore. Like, and I was afraid to go back on the street. I started posting my videos uh, about my art, about my website, about my skills, about my talents, about everything that I've done in my life. Uh, you know, and I tried to get my name out there, but nobody really cared about that. Um, so I decided to post um, myself sucking dick. <laughs> and you know, I got 7,000 followers in a month or so. Um, uh, I'm not the hottest piece of meat out there by all means, but I'm definitely a piece of me and I should own it. I'm, I'm still trying to maintain my level of depth uh, through Facebook and Instagram. I'm trying not to use all of my um, meat properties uh, to get places. <laughs> Um, but it seems to be like the most valuable asset for me at this time. Um, it just seems to me that people today are so, um, only interested in, you know, happy, uh, things that make them feel good. People are constantly seeking pleasure at a time when their newsfeed is nothing but bad news. And so it's like, how do I find a balance between keeping people happy with me by, you know, by maintaining that pleasure uh, while also keeping people aware of some really important things? It's a lot of people uh, have a hard time reading the hard things. Um, and you know, I've lost a lot of people and a lot of friends because I've been very vocal about certain uh, protests that are going on that are important to me and others that I think should have more value. And I think people need to see things differently. And I'm constantly trying to open people's eyes and show different perspectives and challenge people. And I'm a very challenging person. I don't sit back and, uh, and I also don't, um, ignore information. So if you bring something to me that's valuable, that helps me see something different, like I really appreciate that. Like I really appreciate when people can show me different perspectives as well. Um, it's like everybody needs to be shown different perspectives on a daily basis. Like there's never enough. There's so many perceptions. Like I've said, there's too many of them. You'll never learn all of them. You know, you can spend an entire lifetime trying to learn the perspective of everything, but you will not succeed at that. But you can certainly try. Um, you're going to have to live through a lot <laughs> uh, and be subjected to a lot of things that a lot of people will not be subjected to. Um, I don't know what to say. So that's just my little spiel on, uh, on everything and all the upcoming videos. Um, you know, I, I would still like to continue finding a balance between showcasing my art, because these are my paintings up on my wall. These are the things that I've done, things that I've created. Um, I would still like to very much uh, continue creating videos like this, but I also will continue making very provocative videos. And yeah, I think dancing in the shower is one of my favorite things to do. 
I've been doing it for the longest time. It's been a place that I've always been able to escape. I also dance while swimming. <laughs> I just love being in the water, near the water, and dancing, um, and moving my body, and pretending I am, you know, not in the midst of whatever I'm dealing with. And it allows me to refocus. And so, um, I'm going to share that with you and I'm going to dance to some of the 90s music and we're going to go from there. Mwah.